In this video, we're going to talk about one of the most common mistakes that homeowners make when it comes to air filters and how this can absolutely destroy your HVAC unintentionally. And we'll also go over some other options you have if you're looking to get better air filtration for your home. And in this video, this is actually a response to a comment that a subscriber actually posted about air filters. So if you have a question, please post it in the comment section below because we do try to read and respond to all of the comments and provide you with the most helpful content possible. But the absolute most common mistake that people make with their furnace or air conditioner is thinking that they can just put in a high rated filter without any modifications to their system. And what I mean by this is if you go down to your furnace right now, you probably have a standard one inch thick filter. The most common MERV rating for these filters is MERV 8. And that's probably what you have. And this works well for most people in most situations. But you might have made the mistake of purchasing a high efficiency MERV 11 or MERV 13 or even MERV 16 air filter thinking that you could just simply buy a higher rated filter material and that wouldn't cause any issues with your system. Now if you're trying to eliminate dirt or dander and have allergies and want a higher MERV rated filter that catches things like bacteria, viruses, and odors, I can definitely point you in the right direction and tell you which filters to use to meet these needs because the truth is that if you put in a MERV 13 rated one inch thick filter, your furnace is not getting very good airflow and this will have unintended negative consequences. And the most common consequence that we run into is that furnaces are overheating. Now this is especially true with these higher MERV rated filters because they catch so much dirt and dander that they get clogged quickly and reduce airflow to the point that your furnace is suddenly getting too hot. Now this will cause your system to overheat which trips the high limit switch at best and at worst it can damage components like the blower motor or even heat exchange if it gets to a really bad condition. And you might be saying, okay, that's great, Howard. I take your word for it. I won't use the one inch filter, but what should I do? No worries, I'm glad you asked. And I will tell you that right now. But first, if you haven't done so already, it would mean the world to me if you would smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Thank you for doing that. It is much appreciated. It takes a lot of time and energy to put out content like this. And liking the video or subscribing to the channel is a free way that you can show your support. And it's much appreciated if you found value from this content. And to answer your question, the filter that you want to use if you are looking to get maximum filtration efficiency is a minimum of a two inch thick filter, a four inch thick filter, or potentially an even thicker, higher efficiency filter like the Healthway MERV 16. And the reason you are going to want to use a thicker filter, and I know this might sound counterintuitive, is because the filter is thicker because it actually has deeper pleats, which means that the filtration media has more surface area, which allows for more airflow to pass through. And right now we're currently making another video soon that's going to be reviewing a MERV 16 filter product that has the static pressure drop of a one inch thick MERV 8 filter, which is an amazing feat considering that filtration material is the same as an N95 mask. And in this video, I will explain visually the difference between a one inch, a two inch, and a four inch filter, as well as the cabinet provided by the Healthway product. So you can visually see how and why these filters get better airflow. But you have no idea how many issues are caused by bad filters because in the winter your furnace will overheat but also in the summer your air conditioner is also going to ice up so if you've ever had a technician come out and say hey your air conditioner is iced up because the coil was dirty or the filter was dirty or you had too many fence in your home closed that is happening because there's not enough airflow moving across your furnace or across your evaporator coil. And this is why most systems we install, we try to opt for a two inch filter media if possible, because they are not that much more expensive than a basic one inch filter, but they will give you much better airflow by comparison and don't actually have to be changed as often if you're the type of person that's not as good about regularly changing your filter. And we will harp on your filters because just like how your dentist tells you to floss twice daily, your HVAC guy will tell you to change your air filter regularly because it is literally the single most important maintenance item that can prolong the life of your equipment, which is why using the right filters is so important. So if you were looking for a MERV 13 filtration because maybe you have allergies or animals in the home and you just like to keep, you know, very clean, fresh air in your home, the best thing to do is to get a four inch media filter like the Honeywell Media Cabinet. And I'll make sure to link this product in the description below. You will need it professionally installed most likely unless you're handy with sheet metal, but it will give you an idea of the type 
type of filtration that can handle those higher MERV rated filters. And if you happen to be in one of the areas we service, like Denver, Colorado, or Phoenix, Arizona, you can actually schedule an appointment with us for free. We come out for free for all first time customers, whether that's for a service call or annual maintenance, or if you're just looking for an estimate for system replacement. And there's actually a link in the description below where you can actually schedule online at your convenience, as well as an up-to-date list of the cities and states that we service, so you can stay up-to-date when we start servicing your Metro. So I hope you enjoyed this content, and right now there's also a few videos popping up on the screen uh, that YouTube thinks you should watch, so make sure you check those out if you haven't done so already, and we will catch you on the next episode.